Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Analyst at GDMFX. With the morning outlook, we're starting with New Zealand and the local currency that slumped to a six-month low as uh, analysts predicted a report that will come out tomorrow that will show the nation's trade balance slipped into def deficit uh, last month. Uh, also, New Zealand dollars fell at at least 0.4% against all of its uh, 16 major counterparts before tomorrow's trade report. Now, the Kiwi uh, dropped 0.7% to 83.47 versus the US dollar after sliding to 83.36 uh, versus the dollar, the lowest since February 27. Uh, going to US, uh, the dollar rose to the highest in almost a year against uh, the uh, euro on speculation that the Federal Reserve will uh, raise interest rates in 2015. Uh, the US economy has made uh, considerable progress and the labor market is healing, uh, Yellen said uh, last Friday, August 22 speech in Jackson Hole. Uh, now, her remarks uh, appeared in line with the message from uh, minutes of the Ju July Federal Open Market Committee meeting, which showed officials growing more aware and the labor market is approaching full employment. Um, in Europe, the, um, the uh, ECB president Mario Draghi said inflation expectations have deteriorated across the uh, euro area and signaled policymakers are ready to add fresh monetary stimulus. Draghi had previously said that the economy was worsening of the uh, medium-term inflation outlook would provide a reason for the ECB to carry out uh, broad-based asset purchases or, of course, quantitative easing. Uh, his comments uh, came uh, days before the data that is uh, predicted to show the euro area inflation uh, slowed to 0.3% this month, a uh, fraction of ECB's global goal and the weakest le level since October 2009. Uh, however, the uh, euro fell to 1.3150 per dollar, uh, the weakest level since uh, September last year. Uh, going to UK, uh, the uh, pound fell for a uh, seventh week versus the dollar, uh, the longest slide since uh, 2008. Uh, the, as the data showed, inflation quickened less than economists uh, forecasted, re reducing the best that the uh, Bank of England is close to raising interest rates. Mm, the sterling fell 0.7% uh, this week uh, to $1.6577. Uh, yesterday and dropping to 1.6562 uh, per dollar, the lowest since April 4. Uh, going to the commodity sector, we're looking that gold uh, uh, fell towards a two-month low, extending two weeks of losses, as of course uh, investors assessed whether the uh, US economy is strong enough for uh, the Federal Reserve to raise rates. Uh, the metal on August 21, uh, last Thursday, dropped to one point uh, to uh, one thousand two hundred and seventy-three uh, dollars per ounce. This is the lowest level since June 18, as the minutes of uh, the Fed's last meeting signaled the policymakers may increase borrowing costs sooner than anticipated. Mm, of course, today uh, is a bank holiday. Uh, the UK markets are closed. Uh, but whatever it is, right now we're looking at a price of 12.76 uh, for the yellow metal. Uh, we're expecting further slide. Uh, West Texas Intermediate is steady right now after falling to 92.42 per barrel last week on speculations that turmoil across the Middle East won't threaten uh, crude supplies. And of course, we're expecting a further decline this week uh, down to 91.30. Uh, that's all for me for today. Thanks for watching. Have a successful trading week. Bye-bye.